Um, where was I? I was... I think I was at... We just got, like, a random text. Yeah, kind of was just all out of the blue. Thanks for coming, everyone. Um, I'm just going to make a brief statement. I uh, won't be taking any questions today. <sighs> today, I'm announcing my decision to stand down as the captain of the Australian men's test team. It's an incredibly difficult decision, but the right one for me, my family and cricket. We begin with breaking news on an Australian cricket bombshell. On the eve of the Ashes series, Tim Payne has stood down over allegations he sent lewd text messages to a female former employee of Cricket Tasmania. I've loved my role as captain of the Australian cricket team. and It's been the greatest privilege of my sporting life to lead the Australian men's test team. I'm grateful for the support of my teammates and proud of what we've been able to achieve together. The team now finds themselves without a captain. This may be the most significant job in Australia, the captain of the Australian Test Team. It leaves Australia's preparations for the Ashes in chaos. He's been our captain for a long time. He and I have been through a journey like we have with all this group. He's obviously shattered with what's happened. 18 days before an Ashes series begins, and our Australian Test captain well, we're looking for a new one. Tim's a very likeable guy. He did something really dumb. He'll be the first to admit that. And it was hard to watch what had happened to him. Tim Payne was entrusted with an awful lot, the re-establishment of the Australian cricket team. You know, he stood up at a time when Australian men's cricket was at its lowest point. And the difficult thing was, who replaces Tim Payne? 